Hello, comrades. Commissar Bro here today with Making History Deadlock playing with Yan China. That's right. And uh, if you remember correctly, as of last time, we had declared war on uh, Feng China here. We are fighting in Henan, sending in uh, oodles and oodles of lances, as many as we can. The fighting's not exactly going as well as I might have hoped. However, I'm staying very optimistic. I'm sending in what I can. Hopefully, it will uh, show up in our favor. If we also remember correctly, uh, the Soviet Union, or the USSR, has... Or, well, basically, there is now a rebellion going on in uh, Tsarist Russia. And uh, there's the Red Army, who's basically coming in to take over. And who has allied with the Ottomans and the Germans, or what's left of Germany anyway. Which is basically just isolated groups of partisans. Yes, yes. Needless to say, what's important about what we're doing is if we can conquer uh, this territory here in China, we will officially have three additional cities, as well as more coal reserves... Uh, to use for our future ambition. So I'm really hoping that we win the fighting here. We're going to go ahead and send in some more lances. We're, we're so close. Bam! There we go. We got it. All right. So how much... Uh, yeah, okay, good. There's not really much defenses left anywhere else. So we're going to go ahead and start improving these two sectors. We're going to merge with the 5th Army. And... Uh, we just got the 6th Army there as well. We'll go ahead and start industrializing this city because it's already really low anyway. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get them moving. So, marching into Shanxi. Shi, Shanxi. <laughs> my, my Chinese is very rusty, or at least my pronunciation. Hopefully, it should be an easy fight. We take that over. The rest of China doesn't hate us, thankfully, uh, because I don't think we could take a war against the actual authoritarian, like, China here. We might be able to, but I don't really want to press my luck. Uh, let's see. How, much men, how many men do they have there? Not enough. Not enough. We're going to go ahead and send some troops in there. Move quickly. Move. Let's go ahead and break up that basic infantry division there. We're going to send them into Henan. We're going to end our turn. More basic infantry has been completed in Yonku. And uh, I'm going to start focusing this back on something else. Because I think we have enough men to do our dirty work. Alright, sorry for the skipping around there. It seems like I had a little bit of a crash. But anyway, pretty much what happened was uh, we defeated the Feng Chinese, and we have now unified a very large portion of China under our rule, which effectively makes us pretty much the most powerful power in China. I mean, technically this China is a little bit more powerful than our China, but oh, who the fuck cares, right? What's important here is we have lots of resources, we have lots of uh, capacity for advancement and for further epicness. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy with where we are. Let's go ahead and merge the 3rd and 7th armies. So what can we do now? Well, we can watch the world burn. It's looking like uh, good old Russia here is doing... Like, it's a mix of well and not well. Because, look, they've won down here and Rostov Oblast. But they're losing in other areas. For example, Volgograd, Sartsin, and so on. Middle Volga. But then they've won in Poltava. So, I mean, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of iffy on what their situation is there. Let's just hope that the, uh, at least for our poor little Chinese sake, is that the USSR does not succeed against Tsarist Russia, for if they do, uh, we will have a much bigger threat to be concerned with. 
Okay, so what can we do? Blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and keep advancing those. Advancing those. And, uh, hmm. As far as the actual time limit goes, it seems like we're getting pretty close to the end. Keep in mind, uh, those who are interested in this game or who play this game uh, may already know this, but those who aren't familiar with making history games, there is kind of like a time limit of whatever the score goes to or whatever, but obviously we're not going by that rule. We don't necessarily care um, that you know there is a time limit because of the fact that uh, we can continue playing. It's sort of like Civilization, how it says, oh, one more turn or whatever after you play or continue playing after technically the score is done counting. So, yeah, that is something in this game, but do not worry. There's no worries, no worries. I think we should just go ahead and take over Ma China, too. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Uh, whatever, let them form their own alliance. The Entente backs our actions and considers us holy for what we do. Bam, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I am about to unify this mother effer. What else do we need? Well, we need to go ahead and move south to Xuan. Hopefully we'll stop them before they get to Shangxi. Right, right. Bam! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, good. So we caught him there in Xuan. And bam, there we go. We won another battle. And now we're moving on to Qinghai. Move forth for Yon China. That's right. We're going to unify this mother effa one step at a time. And it does look like the Soviet forces are getting their tails whipped by the combined Entente forces. Looks like Chechia, Romania, and ooh, look at that. Even Slovakia is assisting the Russians. So, yeah, Russia is not in there alone. Uh, there's a lot of people coming in to help them, which is probably a good thing. But I don't think that Russia was going to lose from the get-go. This whole uh, experience so far has been one of uh, disturbing trends. Not the norm, that's for sure. What all does Germany really have left anyway? Let's see, if they're gray, okay, they just have those areas down there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, it looks like if Germany just actually gets fully occupied there in uh, Germany itself, then there will no longer be a Germany. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Then the power block will be in favor of France, who is the most powerful power in this area. So, hmm. I don't know. That'll make for an interesting game, right? Right? Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Oh, man, I'm loving this. We're sitting here uniting China under one. The United States has declared war on the Soviet alliance. Okay. They probably don't like me very much. But bam, the United States has joined our alliance against the Soviets. Yay. This is great news. Basically, we have the most powerful power behind our back now. Well, not the most powerful power. There are more powerful powers there, <laughs> like the United Kingdom or France. They are far more powerful than the United States is in its current state. That's right. By the way, I apologize if I'm mumbling and just kind of going off to on some tangents today. I've not slept for 24 hours. And you know how that gets to you, so yeah, I might be a little, uh, little bit crazy today. Yes, bear with me, if you will. And we will get along just fine. Anyway, Qinghai is the last bit of Ma China. We're just waiting for our forces to come home triumphant. Bam, there we go. We have occupied Ma China. Oh, yeah, now all of a sudden you guys want to come back in. Too late, Austria. You've burned that bridge, baby. You burned it. So, basically, this is the gist of what we're doing. Uh, I think this is a pretty good place to stop for now. And, uh, yeah, we're well on our way to conquering the rest of China. Uh, they're not unifying as you normally would imagine them to do, which is very good, very, very good in our favor. 
uh, which basically means we're going to survive. <laughs> They're not teaming up against us. We're fighting them one at a time, which is great. And uh, we are industrializing every little bit as we go. Uh, China, uh, Yan China under our rules so far, is all the way up to 115 IPUs, which is really good considering we started out at, what, 20? Something like that. <laughs> so we're we're creeping up there, and eventually, once we're done unifying fully, uh, fully unifying China, we will, uh, you know, we will make this something. We will make something out of this uh, little little thing we're doing here. So it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, guys, and yeah, all that good stuff. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Commissar Bro playing Making History. Deadlock mod and uh, playing as Yan China and uh, I appreciate you guys supporting me and you know watching my stuff and putting up with my weird antics and voices and nonsense so yeah 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 thanks guys <laughs> I will see you next time <laughs>